this kind of problems, bursting of the bubble, financial crisis, economy falling into recession, there are two things that we learned from the Japanese experience. Because Japan went through exactly the same thing 15 years earlier. All these debate about fiscal stimulus or cutting the budget deficit, more monetary easing or less monetary easing, what to do with the rating agencies, should there be more capital injection to the banks. We went through all of that in Japan 15 years earlier with the same degree of animosity, same degree of confrontation. And it took us about seven, eight years to figure out that we were actually treating a different disease. It's no ordinary recessions at all. It's the kind of recession that happens only after bursting of a major asset price bubble financed with debt. And when that kind of bubble bursts, all these people who borrow money to invest in whatever stocks or commercial real estate or houses, they realize that asset prices collapsed, liabilities remain, and their balances are all underwater, meaning people are technically bankrupt. In that case, where you have a cash flow but balance is underwater, what is the right thing to do? The right thing to do is to use the cash flow to repair your balance sheets, pay down debt. But when everybody does the right thing at the same time, what happens to the national economy? In a national economy, if people are paying down debt or saving money, you have to have someone on the other side borrowing and spending money. And in a usual economy, uh, people in the financial sector will be sitting in the middle, taking the money from the borrowers and, and, and people who are deleveraging, take the money, give it to someone who can use it, those people will borrow and spend, and then the money is uh, circulating in the economy. And if there are too many borrowers, rates are raised. Too few borrowers, rates are lowered to make sure that all the safe funds are borrowed and spent at the end of the day. But in the world that we are in now, and the world we found ourselves in Japan 15 years ago, is that you bring rates down to zero, and there's still no borrowers from the private sector because everybody's repairing balance sheets all at the same time. And in that situation, if the government did not come in and borrow the money and put that back into the income stream, GDP could collapse very, very quickly, even with the zero interest rates. And in that sense, this is one of those very unusual cases where private sector balance sheets underwater, you need government borrowing and spending money.